Before jumping into the stock market, it's good to know your tolerance for potentially losing money. Craig Bolanos, the founder and CEO of Wealth Management Group, is here with his common sense. Good to see you, Craig. This topic of risk tolerance is terrific. Well, you know, let's start with the definition, like you said. So I, I think the best definition is the one that comes from the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission. You know, risk tolerance is a investor's ability and willingness to lose some or all of an investment in exchange for greater potential returns. But in the real world, I, I think, you know, risk tolerance is as much about how we feel as it is about the economics we need to achieve in our financial plan. And that's why risk tolerance is such a critical discussion because it's not just a numbers thing, it's really a feeling and emotional thing. And when you're constructing a portfolio, people need to be able to sleep at night. And the very basis of that is this discussion around risk tolerance as you framed it, Angela. Ah, yes. Sleeping at night is a good thing, Craig. How do people know how much they can comfortably put into the market and get the rest they need? Well, I think when you're assessing what we refer to as your personal risk tolerance, we have to start with the math. There is a certain level of critical mass that everyone needs to attain to get retired. You know, that's a savings and a budgeting question. If someone wants to be conservative with investing in the market, what would you suggest? Well, Angela, you didn't take my bait. I said risk tolerance versus risk budget. But if someone wants to be conservative, the first thing they need to do is make sure that their financial plan can allow them to achieve a lower subset of returns in exchange for having that lower volatility and not going through the pain that's occasionally measured through the investment process. And we stand in a great position today with interest rates and bonds for people to actually have decent returns in secured asset investing. And then how about somebody who wants to be more aggressive in the market? You know, if it's within your risk budget and you have the willingness as well, then I think people need to pursue a history lesson. And the history lesson is this. Bonds have always made more over the long term than money markets and CDs. And stocks have also made more money than bonds or CDs over the long term. So if someone wants to get retired and stay retired, there is no better way to compound annual growth rates by partnering with great companies of America. Those are the companies that create disruption in technology, in healthcare, in industrials, in communications, in consumer discretionary. Be a great long-term investor, do your homework, and you too can achieve the data that you need to get in order to hit you and fulfill your financial plans. You know, if you want to focus on this capacity, not just of risk tolerance, but risk budget and understand more about the science and art of creating a portfolio that will allow you to sleep at night, I encourage you to connect with us on our website, investwithwmg.com. That's investwithwmg.com. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.